Okay, we have here a house in this city, or in this town X, and that house goes for $125,000. Now there's a property tax, which is a certain percentage of this house, and in terms of money out of this $125,000, property tax is $2,500. Now the question is, in quantity, in column A, we're wondering what is this property tax, and they're calling it B. What is the property tax in value or in dollar value on a house that is 160,000. So you can see that this house is a little bit more than this house up here, so therefore the property tax P is going to be greater than 2,500. Column B is 3,000. So is 160,000 going to get us property tax that is same, greater than, or less than 3,000? Now, something you want to notice here, what happens when I double 125? Well, I get 250, which are the first three numbers down here. This is an example where if I were to take 1% of this property tax, that would be 1.25. If I were to take 2% of that, I would double that, and that would give me 2.5. Or in this case, 2,500 is 2% of 125,000. If I were to do the same here, and if I were to take 1%, that would be 1,600. Double that, that would give me 2%, that would be 3,200, which is greater than column B. Now, conversely, you could have done this with the calculator. You could have set up some equations here. Wait for 2,500 over 125,000. And then you put x here over 160,000 and solve for x. Again, with the calculator, that doesn't take too long. But if you have a facility with the mental math and you can reason 1%, double it to 2%, that is, you notice this relationship between 125,000 and 2,500, that can also get you the answer. Either way, though, answer is A.